This short video will briefly provide an idea of what alias frequencies are and explain a short code that I've developed to calculate them. Alias frequencies occur when one does not sample a signal at a high enough frequency. According to Nyquist's theorem, a signal must be sampled at a rate that is at least twice as great as the largest frequency in the signal. If one samples at a rate lower than this, there will be a lower alias frequency. The following two equations govern this. The inequality on the bottom must be satisfied and will yield a value for k. This can be used in the top equation. Note that if the sampling frequency is greater than twice the signal frequency, this inequality will never be satisfied. I will now give a quick explanation of how to use my code. It is written in C and must be executed in root software for the graphics to work. These can, however, be turned off. Running the program is done from the command line and is very simple. Here is the program that we will load up. The first parameter is the signal frequency in hertz, and the second is the sampling frequency in hertz. Once executed, the signal, sampling, and alias frequencies are listed and all three are plotted. Again, the graph is only available if the program is executed in root. I will now reload the program and attempt to calculate an alias frequency when the sampling frequency is greater than twice the signal frequency. And as we can see, no alias frequency is present. So, a link to download the code and to download Root are provided in the description. Thank you for your time and for watching, and all comments on how to improve the code are welcomed.